thoughts on daily use of benzos considering risk of addiction and cognitive effects? So I, I love this question. This is, this is when you're up on stage and somebody says, you know, do you use benzodiazepines, Dr. Strawn? And you kind of look around like that. Well, maybe sometimes. So I do use them in my clinical practice. Um, I tend to use them over a shorter time course. I tend to use less lipophilic and low-dose benzodiazepines, translated to generally clonazepam for me. In terms of the cognitive effects and the addiction effects, I want to spend a couple of moments talking about that. And I am not downplaying the risk of substance use disorder or benzodiazepine use disorder. I want to make that clear. But when we look at the long-term data in anxiety disorders for benzodiazepines, they do not suggest an increase in dose over time, and they do not suggest generally problematic behavior. These come from three large epidemiologic studies. In terms of the cognitive effects, the literature is quite mixed. And one of the things that we know is a very, very significant risk factor for major neurocognitive disorder is anxiety. So in the studies that have actually controlled for anxiety, we have not seen this risk of cognitive impairment. In fact, and I want to be careful with this, in one of the studies, there's actually suggestion that the benzodiazepine may have been effect, it may have uh, decreased the risk of major neurocognitive disorder. Now, again, I am not saying that we should give benzodiazepines to decrease the risk of major neurocognitive disorder. What I think is probably happening in that study is that there's another relationship. We have decreased anxiety, which we know is a risk factor. I think this is the same reason why when we look at the SSRI studies in older patients, we see a, if you will, protective effect. When do we start with a benzo and when do we start with an SSRI? I tend to start almost universally with an SSRI. When I am treating OCD as well as social anxiety disorder, I tend to use half of my starting dose as a rule of thumb that I would typically use in depression. Um, I will generally add on a benzodiazepine primarily in social anxiety disorder in situations where I'm really not seeing rapid improvement or I'm not seeing any significant early improvement over that first four to six weeks. I will also use it in a patient who is optimally treated with an SSRI who has partial response to that SSRI. And again, I am not using high potency, highly lipophilic, high dose benzodiazepines. I am using very low doses of low lipophilicity, low potency benzodiazepines.